Often I'm asked what's the difference between cortisone injections and prolotherapy injections. Cortisone injections do eliminate pain. Cortisone is an anti-inflammatory where prolotherapy actually induces inflammation. The body actually heals by inflammation. So athletes know this, when you work out, uh, your muscles get sore and that soreness is from the muscles being inflamed, but that's how the muscles get stronger tendons, ligaments, and joints are the same way. So if somebody has a torn, injured, or degenerated joint, what the joint needs is regeneration. The process by which the body regenerates a degenerated joint is via inflammation. The injection technique that stimulates regeneration is prolotherapy. So basically prolotherapy is the opposite of cortisone. A person should ask themselves, like, why do the doctors say you can only get so many cortisone injections? Well, the issue with cortisone is cortisone actually accelerates the degenerative process and the primary mechanism that it probably does it by is you get a cortisone shot in your knee now all of a sudden the body doesn't feel any pain but you know the things all degenerated and injured so then you go work out so you're working out on an injured joint well then the joint further degenerates where that doesn't happen with prolotherapy Prolotherapy will only allow you to go running if the st structure has enough strength, the tendon has enough strength, the ligament has enough strength. It's not going to give you an, a false sense of security. So that's another good thing with prolotherapy. So prolotherapy does the opposite. It has a lot more long-term healing effects than cortisone. So I personally, myself, wouldn't get a cortisone shot. I don't give my clients cortisone shots unless there's definitely an indication like a herniated disc pinching on a nerve or something. But for typical, for osteoarthritis or ligament or tendon injury, you, a person needs prolotherapy, not cortisone.